So there I am, living in my East Village, you know, one room, storefront, mini loft dump, uh, you know, right off the street, et cetera, et cetera, struggling along. And my big time Hollywood uh, director sister, Vicky, decides to, you know, throw me a bone, help me out. She knows I do a little bit of performing. And uh, so she said that I could be a voice prompter for this new animated movie that they were making called Shrek. So uh, she had a limousine uh, sent for me, this big stretch kind of grayish limousine picks me up, I get in, and I'm taken to Jersey to the home of Eddie Murphy, uh, to his mansion actually, uh, a gated mansion, and I arrive, the, uh, get out of the limo, and uh, I go downstairs to the recording studio. I, I pass incredible grandeur and splendor, uh, you know, an indoor pool with Muzak playing R&B, and uh, so, I get in the studio, nobody's really there yet, and uh, the director's there, my sister, and uh, I'm asked to, um, well, I'll be prompting Eddie Murphy for the day. I know nothing about the story, all I know is Shrek. They tried to, exp I'm a little, I don't pick up well on information. I'm the kind of person that puts out information better than I take it in, or, or I take it in, but it registers a little late. So they're explaining to me the story of Farquaad or Farquaad or whatever it's called. I could never really get it straight. Obviously, I was very nervous and I was on this light Diet Coke high, which I kind of am right now. So um, they put me behind the glass and they decide to, you know, use me, my voice to test the monitors in the recording engineer room. So uh, they said, OK, go ahead, Ivan, and uh, be Shrek for now. Uh, uh, he's got a Scottish accent. I don't know how to do a Scottish accent. Do you? I don't know how to do any accent. Uh, you know, the only character I know uh, is I was once Santa at the White Plains Galleria. I was a very popular Santa. And so the, I, I would talk like this. My name is Santa. Kind of like a Jimmy Stewart who's a little bit drunk. So I'm um, behind there and they say, Ivan, we want to test the sound in here. Could you go ahead and be Shrek, read a couple lines? So I'm like, well, I'm Shrek and I'm here in Farquaad. It's Farquaad. Van Farquaad. In Farquaad. It's far. I just couldn't register it. So, you know, after testing, and oh, well, let me tell you. So they said, just say anything you want. They realized I wasn't reading the lines too well. So I'm like, well, I wake up in the morning and uh, have a cup of coffee. Anyway. Finally, said, thank you very much, Ivan. Come on in the room. So I mosey on back to the engineer room, and here's the playback. And it's, there's my uh, one impersonation I know, a, a, a Santa that no one's ever heard before, coming through the huge loudspeakers. Well, my name is Shrek! And I was so embarrassed, and yet I couldn't hide from myself because my... My voice was coming through the whole system, and there's, you know, very attractive assistants there and assistant directors. and So... Anyway, finally, um, they send me back into the room, and they give me a script, and, um, and uh, in comes Eddie Murphy, uh, you know, with some cohorts, and he's looking hip, he's kind of dressed casual, in jeans, t-shirt, and uh, he comes in the room, hey, what's going on? I'm, I don't know why I started cussing immediately, I, I, I was trying to be hip, and I don't know, so I, 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 I shook hands with him, and then I was supposed to do a scene with him, kind of a tender scene between Shrek and the donkey, and so my, you know, he would say, well, are we going to be friends? And, you know, reading from the script, and I go, that's right, we're going to be friends! We're friends forever! So, you know, everything that I did was over the top, so then he'd read a line, well, it's been sure nice knowing you. It's been sure nice knowing you too! And uh, finally... Uh, you know, even Eddie Murphy was startled, you know, in his face. Finally, he said, I it's cool. Um, you know, I, I can do the lines, you know. You don't uh, you don't have to do the lines in character. Oh, but I want to do the lines in character. I want my own help. No, that's it's okay. You know, just do it in your normal speaking voice. My normal speaking? I was still doing it. I couldn't stop. Just do it in your normal speaking. Ivan, uh, you know, the, the director that, with an English accent. Ivan, could you please uh, just, just, yeah, go ahead and do it in your... I can't even do an English accent. Do it in, in your normal speaking voice. Okay, I'll do that, I promise! So then I chilled out and 
spoke in my normal voice and uh, my voice was quivering and I did the scene. So I guess we're going to be friends. And Eddie would say, uh, they have friends. And I'd say, yeah, friends forever. And finally, they, Eddie said, it's okay. I'll, I'll do, I can do it. I'll prompt myself. And I went to the back and basically watched uh, Eddie Murphy continue working alone. And uh, that was my claim to fame. But I have to admit that one of my takes when I said, oh, we're going to be friends forever. And he said, yeah, friends forever. I swear that I heard the director say, that's a take. And to this day, when I see the movie, I know that I was the vocal prompt when they say, friends forever. And that's my story of how I worked in Eddie Murphy's house. And I was once, Shrek! I was!